Today's video, we're going to sink our claws into the Diamond Select DC Vinny Mates. This is Catwoman. Yeah, so I took a break from having a look at the Vinny Mates, already having a look at the Batman from this free Vinny Mate release. But we're going back into it as we have a look at Catwoman. We're also going to be having a look in the next video. Oh, I just gave it away. We're also going to be looking at the Batwoman Vinny Mate as well. Hey, look out, Jack. We're going to bring in the Batman so that you guys can see the difference between the two. The Batman we've already had a look at. What? You haven't seen the video of it? Go check it out. Maybe check it out after we have a look at Catwoman. Again, the only one that we haven't looked at yet, and rest assured, my friends, it's going to be coming up soon, is the Batwoman Vinnie Mates, which was the other figure in this three-figure set slick editing later we've removed batman and let's have a look at catwoman in hand now this one i quite like now if we bring back as quickly as i discussed the slick editing skills here uh, batman did have a pose to him but he was sort of more so in a museum pose you could see that his elbow was bent it looked as if he really should have been holding something yes i know and then he also had a bit of a forward stance to him. Catwoman, I think, is much more exaggerated. Sorry, Batman, we don't need you for the rest of this review. Uh, Catwoman's a little bit more exaggerated with her stance, and I have to say, I am loving it. I also like the fact that they've given her more of a shinier material, like a shinier paint job to it, to make it look like she's got that kind of leather outfit that she's known for. Love the stance, though, especially how they've got the one foot bent, little toe bent there. She's leaning forward, very uh, sultry looking. She's got her whip there, and the whip is attached to her head. The only way I can guess as the reasoning why they did that is to prevent the, the whip from basically drooping over time. Gluing it in place guarantees you that the whip is going to look just like this 10, 15, 27 years from now. It's going to still look like this. Part of me also wants to go in and start bending her head as some of the earlier Vinny Mates was released by Diamond Select to have head articulation. And yet, unfortunately for Batman, the Joker that we've also had a look at, and Wonder and Catwoman here, I wanted to say Wonder Woman, she unfortunately doesn't have any head posability. And don't believe me, if you look inside here, gone is the ball socket, gone is the ball joint, and instead fully sculpted in under head there, like right underneath there. So there's no way you're going to be able to move it. It's kind of a shame. Uh, Catwoman, I can certainly justify the reasoning why they didn't put head posability on her because that would, of course, yeah, we're going back to the whip here. That would cause problems, wreak havoc, if wreaking havoc could be possible with a whip. Um, it would cause damage to the whip and, you know, of course, it wouldn't be able to be glued in place. Uh, she doesn't also have any waist swivel or arm articulation. Pretty much Vinny Mates are mini mates that are staction or pre-posed action figures where you can't really move anything to them. Where the trade-off really happens though, it's fantastic looking bulky sort of designed characters that still have all the, the charm, if you will, that the mini mates had just a little bit larger. Having a look at her head sculpt, Mini Mates are also known for having no noses, so Catwoman also follows suit here with a no-nosed face. It's a, still a very pretty face despite having no schnoz. It's completely gone. They've sculpted in a little bit of hair sticking out, peeking out from the top of her hood. It's one of my all-time favorite Catwoman designs, that in the 90s Catwoman in the purple outfit. Uh, printed very nicely here on her very boxy front is sculpted in or painted in the indication here of her waist. Now what's interesting though is that whereas Batman, there we go bringing him in once again, his body was fully to either edge of the square. You can see there, there was nothing that really curved inward. A Catwoman on the other hand, you can see curves slightly inward. I'm not really sure how I would have dressed that. Obviously you want to have Catwoman with a very feminine figure 
they couldn't easily have given this clear on the side because then you would obviously see it on the side of the figure. I'm, I guess I am glad that there is that little curved in uh, torso area here. It does, again, make her look a little bit more, give her a little bit more curls, if you will. I say curls, it curves. Um, she's got some nice, nice gray painted there on the torso. She's even got the little zipper there on the side, none of which, again, works. Um, she does have a little buckle there on the side of her boots. There's not really a whole lot of color happening here. Pretty much like the regular Catwoman uh, statues, figures, and all that stuff in this sort of design are all this, this same black treatment. But again, I really like how it's got that shinier black to it. Uh, one hand does have the whip, not removable. The other hand sort of has like a spread out, almost non-mini mate conformed hand. Mini mates are usually like little clamps, like little Pac-Man head, heads, if you will. Uh, here, on the other hand, we've got the hands kind of spreading out, kind of breaking the mold, if you will, of what a conventional mini mate should have. I think actually Batwoman does have the same clamped hands. So Catwoman is really the only exception to that rule. Part of me again wishes she has the posability. I can very well accept for the fact that she doesn't because she's still a really neat looking collectible. Sort of falling into that category of if you're a fan of mini mates, you probably will be jumping on to get these ones as well. But to say that sort of dismisses the fact that there are also people out there that just like to go into comic book stores and find new collectibles. These are certainly one of those collectibles that I think you shouldn't overlook because they got some really neat design elements to them. The moment they hit store shelves, I was hooked on the Vinnie Mates line. I know what you're asking. Well, if you're such a big fan of Vinnie Mates, how come you don't review more on this channel? Ah, that's a good point. I think the problem is once I go down that rabbit hole, there's no turning back. And once I get really into the collection, I could see this specific lineup of figures really overtaking a lot of my other collections shelf space. They're small to their credit. You can pick up a whole lot of them and they don't take up a lot of space like a regular action figure would. They cater to the collectors of mini mates, but that sort of alienates that from other collectors. Uh, Vinnie Mates, for example, are one of those great pop culture, not quite the same as that other lineup, but it sort of caters to people that, say, for example, like Catwoman. Well, if you want to get Catwoman, you don't have to necessarily get every single Vinnie Mate that ever gets released, but I think it's a good line that if you want to jump in on one particular figure, pick up that one, see if you like it, and maybe expand the collection from there. So to say that the line is just really the next evolutionary step from a mini mates and it really caters to those collectors solely. It's not really necessarily true. I think Vinnie mates are an open market that anybody that was a big fan of say a comic book character or some of the movie tie-ins that they've also done Vinnie mates for could easily jump in at any given point, pick up the one that they want. And then, like I said, expand the collection from there. I haven't picked up as many as I should saying that because I really like this line a lot, but rest assured, there's going to be a whole lot more of Vinnie Mates reviews coming onto this channel, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you guys are interested in picking up the Vinnie Mates of Catwoman, rest assured, she is now in store shelves. She should be able, not in store shelves, but she's on store shelves. You should be able to find her right now. Today, we were having a look at the Diamond Select. This was the Vinnie Mates DC Catwoman vinyl figure. Really neat looking design, Catwoman. One of my all time favorite designs of Catwoman. Just a little bit blockier. Uh, if you guys also haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. More videos are going to definitely be coming your way. As, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.